Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video. This is Amy's other uh, gauntlet for a little Sabine costume. And there's a sketch running on that Arduino that's doing a random pattern with the LEDs embedded in that display, um, uh, plexiglass. But the biggest thing I wanted to outline is the breakdown on this circuit. So this is a uh, SparkFun LiPo charge controller for a single cell 3.7 volt uh, battery. And that allows me to perform the USB charging. Make sure that it doesn't overdo it or anything like that. I have to sand to uh, get that port to fit in there. So it's easy to get the polarity backwards on that. And that will burn this circuit up fast. This has no anti-polarity uh, on it and will die quick. Then I've got a power switch. Now this is in line uh, from the charge controller before the boost converter because that's going to use power even if you have the circuit off. If we install the post converter, even though that's not turned on, that's still going to consume energy, I think. Because I've ran into this problem on my network analyzer and the battery would drain dead. So that's why I put the battery before the boost converter. Now this takes the 3.7 volts from the battery, or down to one volt in fact, but it takes that low voltage and it jumps it up to five volts, which is what the Arduino runs on. And this is a little uh, Pro Mini clone that I picked up off the of eBay. So I patched the power in and then I got a little breakout board here so that it's easy to uh, get to the individual LEDs rather than wiring them directly to the uh, board because I can bring everything into a ground bus and I can uh, I can do a one-to-one -one map on the those it's just a breakout board nothing special and then you know I've got the LEDs installed in there and happy 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 I got I think enough cavity there that I can embed everything in there and then cut a little port for the charger and the switch but the cool thing about the circuit is you've basically got a really cheap like seven dollar eight dollar good charge controller I picked up that buck converter off of eBay too that was only a couple of bucks a couple of bucks for the clone solder up you know if you need a breakout board or whatever but if you just need an Arduino and you go straight to it you're running off a 3.7 hobby battery you may even have those hanging around you could this is just from my drone like spare because I bought a bunch of them um, but yeah, you, you basically create an Arduino that's USB rechargeable. And that can be very convenient for future projects.